This one's definitely got something. Oh. Pull him in, Kobe. It better not be a turtle. Oh, oh. there's. What's up guys, it's Daniel, Houston, Jacoby, and Kelsey from Arms Family Homestead, and we are on a catfishing adventure today. We're gonna hit the river and throw out some, some, some limb lines, some hand lines, whatever you wanna call them. Everybody calls them a little bit different. But we're gonna try to catch some catfish. Probably just gonna set everything out, come back tomorrow. And uh, yes, we only brought Kelsey because Earl, Earl's at the hairstylist getting a new do. Um, his hair's getting a little shaggy, so. Had to go get a little grooming. He's too prissy right now. You got to get all cleaned up and brimmed and proper before you can join us down here on the Washita River. Now this river, not far from our house, we're actually on the property where Houston and I came elk hunting. We were here crow hunting just recently too. And uh, this river, it's called the Washita River. And uh, a lot of Oklahoma is known for red dirt. You know, red dirt music, red dirt. Well, you'll see why this is known for red dirt this is not a clear river but uh we're gonna throw out a bunch of lines try to catch some channel cat more than likely i don't have any live bait uh I, well we're gonna use night crawlers and some sh frozen shrimp but if we had some bluegill we'd be after some big old flatheads but there's no bluegill in the creek at home yet maybe soon maybe. so we're gonna see if we can catch a few catfish over the next probably a couple of days really we're gonna set all these out and come back in the morning and run them Any catfish in there today? I definitely. If there isn't today, then there probably is going to be some tomorrow. So. You, you definitely hope so, huh? Yes. All right. Step one is we've got to find us some some limbs to uh, make our limb lines that we can push down in the mud. Why are you pulling back? I'm trying to like push it trying to squeeze it, but you just don't have the muscle. It's a thick tree, okay? <laughs> I got a hatchet. I can do it. Oh, Kobe said he's got stronger muscles than Houston. Watch this. He's just going to cut this thing right in half. Oh. Oh. So we're going to look for about, I don't know, eight or ten trees like this that we can cut off, tie our limb lines onto, and push it down in the sand. Well, we're on a big gravel bar out here and uh can't drive my stakes into the ground we're gonna have to keep keep searching for places to drive our stakes into the ground because if i can't get them in the ground more than six inches or so if we do get to catch catfish they'll just take off with it so on down the river we go pretty simple to make these limb lines and I call them limb lines loosely we don't have any overhanging limbs over the river to actually hang a line from so we're driving trying to drive anyways these stakes into the ground then this is just some uh like same thing you'd use for a trot line or something so number 12 100 pound test and this is a 300 foot roll of just twine and we're going to be using circle hooks and i made sure we bought some with a big eye so that you can actually get this through it so that's what we're doing we'll put a weight on the end of it put about i don't know 15 20 yards of line chunk it out in the river and like I said earlier, we're going to be baiting these up with some night crawlers. You can use a world of different things for catfish bait, but night crawlers never go wrong with a good night crawler. We also bought, or not bought, we brought some shrimp we had in the freezer. So we'll probably bait some of these with some 
frozen shrimp that's Houston laid out and put it in the refrigerator the other night and laid out two bags and we only needed one and kind of forgot about the other bag now I'm a little worried to eat it so we'll use it for catfish bait I'm gonna slide down this way straighten this line out get the slack out of it toss it out there Good job. That's it. See if it'll push down in there here. We're off the rock ledge, moved on down just past where all those uh, rock banks are and kind of opens up and I figure this would be a lot better spot for a catfish to come working his way up, headed upstream. You gonna be able to get it down in the mud? We're gonna need a hatchet. <laughs> You're gonna hit your fingers. Hot way you holding that hatchet there. And when you toss it, I want you to toss it. Just, just, hey, just kind of sling it out there. So the current's going towards you, so you're downstream, right? Yeah. So just toss it out there. Watch those hooks. There you go. That's all we're doing. Yeah. See if a catfish comes along. Hopefully there will. I bet you there will. How many do you think there will be today? Before we leave today? Or maybe not to, today. When we come back and run them? Yeah, all together. How about that? Uh, you know, it depends on how long we run them. If we catch them tomorrow, we'll rebait them and do it again. How about so. for tomorrow, until tomorrow, when we're ten, that's awful big numbers. I'm gonna say we'll catch uh four. I'm gonna say three. Three? Six. Okay, Kobe says six. I say four. Houston says three. All right, get this one baited up with some shrimp. Because everything that swims loves to eat a shrimp. Oh. And pretty much everything that walks likes to eat shrimp too. So Yeah, except for him. He's allergic. Yeah, he's allergic to shrimp. Can't do that. All right. We'll go down there and toss it out. We're not trying to get it out to the middle of the river now. We don't want to be in that brush pile. So just toss it out about halfway between you and the brush pile. Just don't drop it. Don't let go of the chain. <laughs> Who remembers that? I do. I do too. Don't drop <clears throat> the chain. All right, toss it out there. That was not very far. Well, that was not very far, but <clears throat> them catfish can come up along the bank. I uh, I would probably redo that one and get it out there. Try to get it a little more straight out towards that brush pile. Because your first one was only like three feet in the water. Which at night, them catfish will come up along the bank and feed and stuff. Now, I will say this. If we were targeting you know 30 pound flathead or big blue cat or something our uh our fishing rod poles here would need to be a lot bigger and down in the ground a little farther here just toss it from there kobe just shoop, toss it out there yep there went all of our bait <laughs> yeah you can't you can't whip it out there we'll pull them in and redo it Ooh, hope you brought extra clothes Oh, so you're going to be riding back to the house in your underwear, huh? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. I told y'all that mud was slip, was slippery. Excuse me? Is hey, muddy? not yet. <laughs> hey, on my feet wet either? <laughs> yeah. The good thing about it is as it dries, it'll, that sand will just wipe off really. But you are, oh, why wouldn't you wash your hands off before you take your hoodie oh, off? Oh, yeah, that's gross. I would have washed my hands off first. Yeah. So you didn't get the inside of your hoodie muddy. Here, hold this hoodie for him. I'm going to go get the buggy and start building some lines while y'all uh, wash Kobe. <laughs> what you doing, Kelsey? Hmm? What you doing? You having fun? Are you having fun? Huh? Are you as muddy as Jacoby?
Well, we got about uh, seven, eight. Hey, fishing right there. Oh, we are. Yeah. <laughs> There's my last line right there, and he just threw a stick on top of my line. Anyways, got about seven or eight different lines with two hooks each, set out, baited. I think we may go do some exploring, look for some mushrooms, let these sit for an hour or so, and come back and check them. And if we don't have anything, we're just going to let them set overnight. Come back and check them in the morning. And uh, Jacoby is filthy. I think we're going to have to throw Kelsey and Jacoby both in the creek when we get home. I'll do it. You'll do it. I believe you. I did it like a month ago. So. What? Yeah. Yeah, that tree's been there a minute. Look how big this vine is. <laughs> it's like not even, it's more than two feet. What are you doing? Seeing how many arm lengths it takes you to get around that one? Yeah. That is a giant tree. You look like a tree hugger. Do that again. <laughs> Huge, man. That was three plus the... There's an eagle in a nest across the river from us. She just oh, landed. Oh, there's an eagle in the sky right there. Those are eagles yeah. right there. There's another. You can just barely see the tent. There's an old eagle in the nest. And there's a couple more. You won't be able to see them. Yep, coming down for a landing. Fixing to head to the nest. That is so cool. Look at that. Oh, decided to change her mind. Him or her, I don't know. That one's not. The one in the and right there. The lower one is an eagle for sure. The other one is one higher up. I'm not sure. That one might be a buzzard. Yeah. Maybe. All right, here comes the eagle in for a landing. Incoming. Oh, did you hear that? Yep, I did. This reminds me. Hear them talking to each other. Yeah, that other bird flying up there. No, I don't think it's a buzzard. It might be a hawk or a juvenile eagle that doesn't have a white head yet. But either way, there's two in that nest tree right there. This reminds me of Brother Bear. Because <laughs> there's elk here and there's eagles. I don't know why, but... Well, that's pretty cool. There's uh, three eagles. We did get a better look at that last one. I think it's just a juvenile. You can just barely see a little bit of white on its tail, but there are two in the nest. So there's a, a pair and that may be like one of their offspring from last year or something. So no morel mushrooms were found. So we're still checking out a few places on the river, looking for a cool place to bring the van and camp. Yes. You know what? Yes. Come down here, bring the van, park it on the side of the river, somewhere not near the mud and the sand <laughs> and uh, do some nighttime fishing, some cooking. I don't know, whatever else we can get into. But we did find an elk trail where they're crossing the river here. So that's like a big island out across the river. Oh, there's three, there's three dogs over there. Huh. Kelsey, you stay with us. We're seeing all kinds of weird stuff. Anyways, so that's like a big island. And then there's another part of the river over by that eagle's nest but this is definitely an elk trail where they're traveling dude what if we were sitting in the van one night and there was just a elk came around and was just looking at us Maybe your dog's chasing a butterfly <laughs> <laughs> go get it kelsey <laughs> yeah yeah she saw it land <laughs> Yeah, so this would be a pretty cool, pretty cool little flat spot right here. It may need a little bit of cleaning out, but we could easily drive the van right there, park it. I think it'd be pretty cool up on this high bank, set some lights up and do some nighttime catfishing. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. You 
You got one on there? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, it was just fighting. It was fighting? Yes. Oh, no. Pull it in. Oh, it came off right there. I saw it swirl. That was a big one. <laughs> Looks like we need some more worms. We already got a rebate. No. Hey, I saw him swirl. Guess what? That means we're doing the right thing. That's the first line we've checked. Yeah. So, hey, watch out. Watch your, watch yourself and your dog. No. Kobe's going to go get us some worms and we'll rebate it. I think he's going to get a little bit mud too. <laughs> All right. This one's really slack, and I really think this should be a good spot. There's kind of a little eddy right here out of the current, but that line's slack for sure, which doesn't necessarily mean that there's a fish on it, but one could have hit it. You feel anything? I'm not Jesus, sure. the suspense is killing me. Pull it in and let's see. Well, it was like, it was like feeling weird. It's like almost bouncing or something. Well, it's out there in the current a little bit. Yeah. Check this one. Go ahead and pull it in and we'll check our bait and see if there's a fish. No worm. No worm. No worm. Well, it's a good thing we tried to check them before we went and left them all night. Yeah. We may, uh, get this one a little closer to the bank next time so that it's not out in the current the current probably pulled the worms off well sir i see you made it home from the beauty salon do you feel better <laughs> i can promise you one thing earl you're not going to the river with us because you just got all prissied and cleaned and, and the river's not a place for your hair nope you'd take it'd take like seven baths to get that mud cleaned off of you you know that Kelsey, on the other hand, uh, you can take a water hose to her and she's clean in five seconds. Are you pouting? You mad at me because you didn't get to go today? Is that what this is? Hmm? I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of ice on that water bottle that stayed on the buggy last night. I had no idea it was going to get that cold. Me too. It's a little chilly this morning. It is. Those might be. Those are elk. They're big, a lot bigger. Those are Those deer. Are Those are definitely deer. deer. Um, it's hard to tell from that far away. We're a long ways away. I thought we'd come over and just spotted a bunch of elk on the edge of the river, but they're deer. I see one, two, three, four together, and two more over here to the right. Yeah, they're deer. They were just shining in the sunlight over there through the trees. That one on the far right looks really big. Yeah, that was the first one I saw, and I thought it was a cow elk, but there's at least one buck over there. Hmm. Cool. Well, with as many deer as we've seen this morning, there's a lot of wildlife moving. Hopefully, the fish did the same. All right, here's our first... Uh, our first line it looks like it's all slack to me. Is it just me or does it seem like the river doesn't have near as much current today? Definitely. Like yeah. it's barely moving right here. And yesterday I feel like it was, I feel like that was underwater yesterday. Nothing, Nothing on that one. Now we did have another limb line pushed in the ground right up here this was our first spot we stopped at and we were having a hard time driving our poles down in the ground because it as much as it looks muddy right here we're on a big rock bar so you drive down about four or five inches and you hit rock so we're already lost one i was afraid that was going to happen here because we couldn't get it you know a couple feet down in the mud See if we can find where it was. It might be tangled up in one of these brush piles. Let's see if that's it, tangled up in that brush pile. 
Hey, I was a little worried. If we'd had a small, you know, some small channel cat or something, I wasn't too concerned about it, but nope. not it. Well, that's a great way to start off. Where was it at? See if I can find where it was in the ground. We walked up and down the bank so much trying to find a decent spot. There's mud or something else right along the edge of the river. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but we lost the very first one we set. I mean, that mean, you guys look goofy with your hat on top of your hoodie hood. I'm cold, okay. I don't care. It just looks goofy like that. All right, let's let's uh, let's go on down and check the rest. That's a bummer. I didn't want to lose the... Yeah, I know. I knew we couldn't drive it in the ground very far here, and that was going to be an issue, but there's just not a lot of options along this bank. That bank over there would probably be better. You can see it's... Uh, probably the deeper side the deep the water's probably deeper over there but we couldn't get over there so all right we've got several more down here maybe we'll have some better luck so i wonder if there's a low tide and a high tide there's no tides on the river for sure now it may depend on whether or not they're releasing water out of lake texoma or not Here's our next one. No bait no. and no bait. Didn't catch anything here in the in the rapids <laughs> where the water's really flowing through. Yeah. I thought that might be a pretty decent spot if them catfish were coming up. They might channel up into this, but I feel like we need to be over there. That's how it always goes, isn't it though? When you're river fishing, you always want to be on the other side. Well, nothing on the shrimp bait. Woo, I about slipped. We didn't even lose our shrimp. Yeah, the water levels definitely dropped from yesterday. Uh-oh. Oh, something I just tangled. Gonna have to go get it, man. Look, you see? I saw. I saw. It's just tangled right there. It's only about a foot deep. Maybe you can get there and get it. I wore my uh, short boots today because my other ones had a hole right in the top in my foot. Whoa, uh, Jesus. <laughs> that is not a foot deep. <laughs> Did it go over your boot? Yes. Oh, bummer. <clears throat> Kobe? Yeah. He just went over the top of his boot. I don't know if I'd step out there, buddy. It's just tangled right here. I might be able to just... It's just wrapped around. Kobe! Kobe! It's like a quarter inch from the top. I can see the wet line. It's just right there. Oh! That was just a stick. Oh. It wasn't fish. But we had a fish. And he got wrapped around a brush pile down there. And I broke it. Oh, bummer. Dang it. Not having very good luck right now. No. All right, we got three more good ones right here in the honey hole. We hope. And they have two hooks a piece, so we're definitely not going to catch as many catfish as we predicted. What? Dang. Nothing on the good one there. That was where we had a fish yesterday and Houston let him go. <laughs> no bait though. Man, it is beautiful out here. We may... Uh, I don't know about you, but that one over there looks really tight. We may rebait these real quick and let them set for an hour or so and just see the river just looks like it I mean, it just looks like there should be catfish biting right now. Nope. No bait. We've been robbed. It's definitely moving. Yeah. This one's definitely got something. Oh! Pull him in, Kobe. It better not be a turtle. 
Oh, oh there's two fish. Two. We got a double. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, oh, look at that one. It's not even hooked. We lassoed oh, one. It's hooked. It is. Let's go. Oh, uh, we got two small channel cat. Hey, I just said a while ago, we have to have at least two to be able to eat them. Well, we're going to put these on a stringer and rebait real quick because catfish ought to be biting, man. Yes. This perfect conditions. The river's moving slow. It's nice and cool, but it's not cold down here on the river. It's not. The Lee last limb line to check saved us. Caught two. I mean, one of them's a little small, but I think what we'll do is pull some of these other lines and go ahead and set some more out down there. It is, I, can't, I just don't want to leave. It's perfect out here right now. So we'll bring uh, two or three more downstream out of that current, set them out and let them set for an hour or two and see what we can catch. Can you get it out, Cope? They made a tangled mess. Well, there's all the deer again, way down there. Just hanging out on the riverbank. Kind of like us, huh? Yep. That'll be fine. So uh, that's more like what we were expecting on our limb lines, to be able to push them down in the mud a foot or so with a minimal effort. I'll help you in just a second. So we went upstream and pulled some of our lines from where the current is down here to this slower moving water. And then Kobe made a really good point. So that limb line that we caught those two catfish on, what limb line was that? The one that you thought we lost. That's right. We went upstream yesterday and brought that one down here and uh, I totally forgot we even moved it. So that was one that was way upstream. So we didn't lose one last night. No, we did not. Look at this one. All right, toss her out there. Don't get tangled in the hooks. There you go. There we go. We're fishing. When I clap, when I clap, there's gonna be a fish on the pole. Imagine there actually was. <laughs> All right, I got everything rebaited. We've got one, two, three, four, and number five here. And before I could even get the last one rebaited, Houston started yelling, fish, 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 fish line's definitely been moving we got a circle hook on these so he should have hooked himself by now so i'm gonna get the boys y'all gonna pull this fish in or what y'all taking a break He's waiting for you to say to come get it waiting for me to say go well i was afraid he wouldn't hook very well yet so give it a tug and pull him in what do you got what do you got pull him in pull him in pulled it right out of his Ooh. mouth just like i said i was afraid he wouldn't hooked yet that's okay we still have our bait and little channel cat get down there. Hey, they'll they'll nibble, 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 nibble. That's why we're using circle hooks, so we got to give them plenty of time. And Dad. I thought he was on there, man. All right, no catfish on a limb this time. I sure thought you had one. Me too. Let's go. So, were you gonna eat the catfish on a stick, or are we just catching catfish on a stick? Ooh, campfire catfish. Ooh, that might be good. Well, maybe, but I didn't bring everything. It would be cool. We could come down here one day, build us a fire on the creek bank, on the river bank, catch some catfish and eat them. Creek bank, but yeah. Hopefully, we catch at least one or two more so we can actually have lunch today. Because right now, all we've got is two small channel cat. Yeah. That'll feed me. I don't know about you, boys. Yeah, it would be too. <laughs> Y'all, look at this. It hadn't been five minutes since Houston threw this back out. And that string is already jumping. But I'm curious, is it a catfish or a turtle? Either way, I'm going to let them eat for just a few minutes. Because that circle hook should get him to hook himself. If it's just a little small channel cat, he may have a hard time getting that big circle hook in his mouth. So we'll give it a second and see. But it's definitely jumping. Come on, fish, pull it. Hook yourself, hook yourself. Well, it looks like it's just gonna be a two catfish kind of day. 
I'm not seeing any catfish tugging on our lines anywhere. And uh, I don't know. Our one down there, I think, was a turtle jacking with us. So we're probably going to pull everything in. And I don't know. Maybe go catch a couple bass out of the pond so we can at least have enough to eat for lunch, right? Well, not the best outing we've ever had. But guess what? We have fish. We still caught fish. Yeah. And we still had fun, right? Yes. So we're, uh, we'll call it a learning experience. How about that? Yeah. Where are these dang screaming geese at? I think we scared the geese off. Nope. Oh, there they are. It's going to take more than two little catfish to uh, feed these boys a decent lunch. So I guess we're going to have to go gather some uh, some bass out of the pond and maybe some of these little guys. Hopefully we can find more than one or two morel mushrooms. We found one. Oh, Kobe found one. Nice. Nice. There's two. Well, we got two catfish and two mushrooms. We're gonna starve. I hold the big one. They're the same size. Oh, I meant the catfish. Oh. <laughs> Kobe, 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 Kobe just stepped right Ooh, in a honey hole. hole. Like, stepped in a bee's nest in a swarm of mushrooms. Look at that. Take my hat off here. He didn't smash any of them. Oh, he didn't? He just stepped just... right over the top of them. Oh, did his foot kind of graze over them? I just happened to see right where his foot, his foot landed, like right here. Good thing they weren't going right there. Huh. I told you to mark the spot where you said you found one while ago, and it was right over here somewhere. I don't remember. I don't think it was right here. Well, I'm gonna look right around this general area because as you can see, when you find one, you usually oh, find more. Here's some uh, dead ones. Some that have already dried up. Yeah. We got here too late. One right there. Oh yeah, let me see. One right here. Hold them up. We missed out on those, didn't we? Yeah. Dang. Well, that goes to show you right there, not all of them um, come up and get big. I mean, that's yeah. that grew and never actually got big but we better look in this area real good I, I was just standing there and said this is probably a good spot too yeah did i not just say that you did well, my camera won't focus there we go you said there what now who huh i said that this was probably a good spot to find mushrooms before we found those i bet there's more Kobe, most of the bass are going to be kind of along the bank and not necessarily out in the middle of the pond right now, okay? So, like, even if where you're at, if you fish, throw, cast that way, you know, kind of down the bank, and then if you go down there, you can kind of fish around those trees and stuff, but more than likely, most of our bass are not going to be caught out in the middle of the deep part right now. Yeah. Yeah, Houston, the other day, I was piddling around on Facebook Marketplace, and I saw a like a pond king ultimate boat like it's like a bigger pontoon like 14 foot had a gas engine on it uh live scope garmin live scope depth finder i mean it was tricked out i mean this is perfect for our little pond but one like that we could put on a bunch of other smaller lakes and stuff and do some crappie fishing some catfish and all kinds of stuff this one's probably a, a little bit too small to really do much more than a than a big pond but They've got some. They got some pretty cool boats. That one was all tricked out. Somebody made it really nice. You got him, or is he wrapped up around a tree out there? <laughs> Did he come off, or are you still hung up? 
don't see anything. Really? Look out there. Well, I don't see anything. <laughs> he got you tangled up on a, on a log out there somewhere. Man, we're not going to be eating much fish for lunch. Old dad had to step in and catch a bass for the boys. They're struggling over there. They hadn't caught a fish and it got off, so you took your chance. Uh huh. I see. You had a fish. You got hung up, broke your line. Neither one of y'all caught one. Look at here. Old dad's got one. Perfect eating, eating size little bass, and it looks like it's got a nice scar on it from being attacked by one of our uh, lovely herons our blue herons probably got after it well i was around on the wrong side of the pond and i missed kobe catching a bass huh can't be talking now you oh man that's a little bigger fish than what i want to keep but uh it's bleeding so let me see if i can get that hook out of it i think you got her in the gills it's kind of bleeding on the other side I really don't want to keep that one, so let me see if I can get this hook out and get her released. Yeah, got the hook out. It really wasn't in its gills. It was kind of down in the back of her throat, but uh, that's not one we want to eat. I'm gonna see if, see if we can get her released. As long as she swims off, we'll be good. That one's a little bigger than eating size for sure. Hold over, come on. That don't, that ain't good. There we go. Oh, she's trying to take off. Come on. Come here. Come here. We don't want to lose the bigger bass like this. This is probably a, easily a two pound fish. She kind of swallowed Kobe's hook a little bit, but I thought she was hooked in the gills. She wasn't. This one's also got a big scar on its side where it's been attacked. If I can't get her revived, we'll make lunch out of her i guess but oh she said no i don't want to do that i'm not lunch come on swim off swim baby swim swim baby swim give her a few seconds let her try to recover before we make a decision well bummer i guess it's a perfect day to do catch clean and cook right how many times is she gonna throw it in the tree she's not gonna make it mm, i hate to see that that's a nice bass but uh We'll put her to good use and make lunch of it. Let's go see what she weighs. There she is, Kobe. Two pounds, nine ounces. Houston said two and a half pounds. You were one ounce from being spot on. So, I don't like eating a two and a half pound bass out of my pond. Yeah, do I. But... We might as well since it already died. So. Well, yeah. We're not going to waste it. That's what I was going to say. That's all right. It happens. It's pretty big belly. It happens sometimes. There you have it. There's the fillets chopped up off of our four little fish. And I will say that two and a half pound bass is probably the biggest bass I've filleted in many years. Hey, I'm trying to work here, guys. I'm working on uh, getting our fish and our morel mushrooms all ready to go. Houston's working on his new specialty homemade french fries in the air fryer, right? Yes. Look at those. They look like restaurant style, uh, you know, those home cut type. What you find in a, a good old fashioned diner, somewhere where you get the best cheeseburger of your life. Yes. All right, y'all, here we go. It's like my favorite thing in the world right here.
Earl, what do you think, dude? You still mad at me? How long are you gonna wear that fancy boy handkerchief around your neck? You guys watch leg fork guy you know he would say that's the golden crispies that's one person that we've never shot a video with <laughs> leg fork guy what? maybe we should re maybe we should uh see if we can do a collaboration with lfg lake fork guy oh yeah he likes the golden crispies so while those finish up i went ahead and did a uh, egg and milk wash and i'm i'm actually going to do these morel mushrooms <laughs> in our fish batter which is more of a cornmeal base instead of a flour base oh lucky somebody forgot one Just don't want to leave anybody out anyways we're going to do those in a cornmeal base like a fish batter mix since we've already got it ready what do you think earl will it be any good hmm Ready and they smell delicious. So instead of hush puppies today, we're having morel mushrooms. May not be the healthiest meal you ever cook, but that gum it sure is good. Are you hungry? Yeah. I hope so, cause uh, those four fish made a lot of food. No. All right, y'all. We got some fresh picked morel mushrooms. And I did snack on a couple of those while I was cooking, and that fish fry mix is amazing on there. We got our black bass, our largemouth bass, and some some channel catfish, and Houston's homemade fresh cut fries. This is going to be good. So, I need to know, I need to taste test. You guys eat your fish. Tell me if you can tell the difference in the bass. Tell me if you can tell which one's bass and which one's channel catfish. Okay. As you eat, you just tell me if you can tell the difference. Got a mushroom? Yeah. You probably don't like them fried, do you? I almost only taste the batter. <laughs> what do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good. It'll do in a pinch, huh? Yeah, I like it. Okay, both, both boys said they can tell the difference in which one's bass and which one's catfish. Which one do you like better? This, oh, uh, I like the catfish better. Really? Yeah. Channel catfish, better than a fresh largemouth bass. Interesting. Which one do you like better? Bass. <laughs> What's the matter? I think. Oh, all right, well. All right, I'll let you eat while we devour this meal. Well, y'all, I guess that'll do for the day. I really honestly hope we would do a little bit better at the river. And uh, it may just be a little bit early in the spring. I bet you we'll be going back down there and doing some more catfishing. Maybe doing a little camping. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's about my favorite meal of all time right there. Fried fish, morel mushrooms, some homemade french fries. It just doesn't get any better than that. So, guys, remember, do something today to make somebody smile because you never know. It just might change the world. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.